Lekken Greg Vegan Camp, the 30th of August 2020. Welcome to wet season, rainy season. There's a guava there, eaten by bugs. There's also a guava here, not ripe. Sometimes they're hard to find, so they will just fall and get eaten. When it's really guava season, a lot will fall down on the ground and some of them will be eaten by bugs and some of them will be picked up by me. That's the best way for me to, to eat, get guavas. Sometimes you can uh, harvest them or pick them a bit unripe, but they're just not super good. So the, the, the best flavor for me is when they're tree dropped. I tried to bag some of them, like we bagged the mangoes, but I don't know why the the bugs came in after all, they just started rotting. It's it's really strange with the guavas. Maybe I need to bag them earlier. Every morning I check the ground around the lime trees, there are two primary lime trees here, and just picking limes from the ground, tree rubbed lime. This one is has, has a funny shape. The mosquitoes. Another one into the pocket. Another one. Oh, wow. Just tried to show you how it looks on the tree, but it dropped. These are the limes I already had from the other days. Coconut bowl but there are two sides of a coconut where the sprouts come out usually and they're not robust so th there's usually there will be a hole or something these are not they're not uh, so good all of them so this one with the hole I use for when I washed my limes I will put the limes in here and it will just drain the water here and then the limes will stay dry and they will keep longer when they're dry not wet and this is today's harvest. And when I use these limes, I will use like two of them for um, for my lime water here in the morning. I will choose the most yellow ones. If they get too yellow or too old, they'll get bitter. To so use them before they get bitter. This is my current last banana I have that is ripe. There soon there will be some new ones coming up. But uh, Kunme came yesterday. She harvested some of the sweet bamboo. We have a lot of patches around of sweet bamboo. She used for cooking her dinner. I shared the last bunch with her of the bananas. She got half and I got half. This is the half of the harvest uh, Kunme, Lek's mother, showed me yesterday. I didn't realize that they were, they were already ready for harvesting. Last time I spoke with Lek, it was uh, they were only flowers. <laughs> so from flower to full cu cucumber, very fast here in Thailand. Passion fruit, eating some passion fruit, they're starting to fall from the plants. Sweet and sour. So these two are good candidates for, for today's lime water because they don't have they don't, don't have any green spots. If they still have green spots, they can still keep a little bit. But if they're completely yellow, they need to be used. I always put a little bit of lime on my hand to taste it, so I'm sure it's not bitter before I put it in my water. Very nice. Sweet and sour. Here's the lime water through a sieve and then we have the, the seeds we'll just throw in the garden and maybe there will be a, a new lime tree somewhere. This is the sesame plant. The big question is, is it black or white sesame? Nobody knows. This was eaten by caterpillars, so I thought, like many people thought that it would die, but it survived as a fighter, like a lonely sesame plant, and it got it gets these pods after after flowering. The flower looks like this, and after flowering, it will turn into pods, and the seeds are in here. I don't think it's ready for harvest yet. Young bamboo shoots that are a bit bigger and a bit more fat, like this are nice to take out and make a soup with uh, galanga root and other herbs and banana flour. That's what I made um, this month also. Galanga root, galanga plant are growing well. Just harvest the root from the ground of course. Heavy pruning 
of the longan trees and the uh, longan harvest is over. I started to separate the leaves for compost and the bigger parts of the branches so like collecting them for emergency firewood or something. These galanga flowers are too old already but um, you can use them for cooking and here you can see like more mature and here are the seeds for the galanga. I'm not sure you can grow it from here but probably yes. Some bugs having fun. And we are still harvesting some uh, dragon fruits, the cactus fruit. Very nice. This is from the outside and there's also a dragon fruit. There, the chaya is growing, the chaya fence is growing really well. I broke a glass with uh, boiling water, so now the, the bottom is gone. Now I just put it in the soil and trying to grow different things. I think this is a green bean. Growing greens and other small plants is brutal here in the rainy season because there are so many snails and other bugs they're just like devouring everything also a lot of scorpions snakes I've not seen maybe maybe one this month but there was like a scorpion just uh, on the wall near the shower saying hi yesterday evening and no scorpions are not like in the movies or aliens they don't jump on you and attack you and eat your face they're more scared of you than anything. The most dangerous thing right now is probably the mosquitoes. I don't know how dangerous they are, but they say tiger mosquitoes are very dangerous. The giant bamboo for building material, it's really amazing how fast it grows. Like new shoots they grow. You can almost watch them grow. I'm watching these bananas daily because they are soon ready to harvest. You can see in the top they are like getting a little bit darker. That's a good sign for almost ready to harvest. And also you can see that they are round and fat. But they can get a bit more fat and more sweet. You need more sugars from the soil and from the sun. After the longan harvest you can really see the longan tree house. There's more tree house than longan tree. The opposite from before. Longan emergency firewood. Or maybe I can build something from it. I'm not sure yet. If I'm lucky this will turn into a very nice compost in 1000 years. One longan leaf compost and another longan leaf compost pile. You can see the all the pumpkin here and pumpkin flowers. This was the rice straw hill. Now it's completely devoured by pumpkin and cucumber plants. When you see a, a pumpkin like this, it's, or it's not dark green, it's already turning a bit yellow, like it's ripening. But this is just not, it will just not grow well. So you can take these and also put them in, steam them or put them in a curry and, and eat them. You can also eat them raw. A healthy pumpkin looks like this. It's much more, it's bigger and it's dark green and it just looks healthy. Something like this provides a lot of food because you can eat the young shoots of the pumpkin and you can eat the male flowers. The male flower doesn't have a pumpkin attached on the bottom of the flower. Here's a male flower. No pumpkin here. And here's a pumpkin. And you have the, the pumpkin and you also have the cucumbers. This is a cucumber and here was the harvest from, uh, from cucumbers yesterday. I think this uh, Kunme, Lex's mother, said that it's not ready for harvest yet. So it can get, get a couple of days more before we can harvest it. So a lot of chilies on the plants. Bananas coming up, but they're just not like big and fat and they're not, not like many of them. And yeah, you can see I cut off the banana flower for soup. A lot of Banana is not doing well, so I might need to thin out the bananas and maybe plant some new, like dig down in the ground deeper because it doesn't seem that the, they can support the, the weight of the bananas. So that's maybe why. Also the rainy season will wash up the, the soil a little bit every year and then the bananas at some point will just, because they will grow new bananas on top of each other, so I saw the, the video from Mr. Pan Pan, John Jandai, I think he's called. And he said that 
for three years the bananas can grow but then you need to transplant them otherwise they will they will just not give uh, a lot of fruit my red banana project these are the banana guardians I planted like one two three four bananas here in, in three spots and in the middle I through some avocado seeds. I'm not sure that the avocado seeds will sprout, but the idea is that these are the, the banana guardians. So they will just get leaves, grow a little bit, and then I will just cut them off and just use the leaves as mulch, uh, and uh, maybe also the stem because it contains a lot of water, and they will just protect the avocado trees during dry season and during storms and stuff like that. So that's the idea of this concept. Also inspired by John Jandai. Papaya is looking very healthy. It will soon be time for eating ripe papayas and also we can already start making papaya salad. Our sign has fallen. These are also quite good for papaya salad. Passion fruit climbing up the bamboo dome.